weathering the weather with Ed. Sometimes he's cranky, sometimes he's goofy, but he's always got a joke. Before I met him, I said meteorology. Hey, guy, that's not for me. But now I'm weathering the weather with Ed. Yeah, who's weathering the weather with Ed today? I am. No, that's me. Oh, sorry. I am weathering the weather feisty for certain. today, aren't you? Hey, you don't know. get my uh, don't get my New York City. You know, they're waiting for us to start this show. That's all right. Hey, we're oh. here at Weathering the Weather with Ed for our eighth show. It seems like so many more than that. And today's show is going to be <laughs> <laughs> is going to be uh, uh, extra what tropical. What the heck is it going? On? Read it right. I am. That's why I'm reading it. Extratropical low pressure areas. Yes. And what are they? You're going to ask me? I wasn't going to ask you. Oh, that. okay. No. Am I supposed to tell them? That? Yes. All right. Extratropical uh, low pressure area. It's it's from uh, this. Uh, they're up here. All right. They're not from the tropics. They're from middle latitudes. High high from high middle latitudes. All right. They have a cold center if you go up in the atmosphere. Tropical ones have a warm one. There you go, buddy. So if they have a warm center, it's tropical. If That's they have correct. a cold center, it's extra tropical. That is correct. That is the only difference? Ba no, but basically that's, okay. that's a distinguish because when they send the plane out, when they're bored, and they're sitting off the coast of the Carolinas, you, they go in there and say, hmm, it's cold in the middle. Well, can't, can't name it then. Do they originate from different areas? Who? The Cohen's? The, the, the low-pressure areas. Which one? The extra tropical? Sure well, that's do. what I'm, I'm talking about, a comparison. Oh, sorry. Yes, they do. They do. They do, because it can't be the tropics, can it? It can come from the extra tropics. There are no extra tropics. No, there aren't. See any. my confusion? I see your confusion. Okay, maybe. so where do they come from? Huh? What? They can come from uh, 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 the Gulf, or off the southeast coast, or they can come from uh, North Pacific, off the, you know, the northwest coast. They can come across and come out of Canada, come up from uh, Texas, mm -hmm. Mexico. Well, not Mexico, New Mexico. New Mexico? Yeah. What if it comes from Mexico? Is that tropical? I'm still trying to figure out what that guy was doing. Which guy? He had a guy with a hat on. Mexican. Oh, the Mexican. It's a sombrero. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So. Good. That's incorrect. All right. Well, we're, to start this off, we got some questions that you've given me. We have me. some questions, please. All right. So we're going to do these questions that you gave me to help clarify this whole extra tropical stuff. Probably won't work. Right. So where do these types of lows form? We just asked I that. I just asked that. Didn't I answered that. Come right. on. I don't know what's going on here. Which way do they move? Depends on what the upper air is doing. Mm. If one forms in the Gulf. <laughs> Sick. If one forms in the Gulf and the wind aloft is from the north, southwest. Aloft? It'll move up to... Yeah, they're going to be in a loft again. Wind from the southwest, it moves to the northeast. Okay? Okay. If, the, if, if it moves, uh, the wind is from the northwest aloft, it'll move to the southeast. So it's depending on what the upper air wind is. When are they the strongest? Storms? Winter time. Because there's a big contrast between north and south. That's so, what starts everything. So your next question, when are they the weakest? I'm going to guess summertime. You are a genius. Thank you. Why is that? You have to ask your mother about that. I don't know. It's inheritance. Oh, we're going with mother jokes now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because <What's laughs> you didn't like it last time. <laughs> Go ahead. Fine. Why are they important? Because they bring the precipitation and the different air masses. Mm. Mm. When are they most plentiful? In the winter, buddy. In the winter, because that's when they're strongest. Because, so you get no, more no, of them. They can be no, because of the contrast in temperature from north to south. Ooh. That's what... Oh, it's Ubu. No, I didn't, I didn't bring Ubu today. Hey, somebody get Ubu. Yeah, go ahead. What is connected to these lows? Fronts, which we went over already. Right? Leading we edges did. of air masses. Yeah, you had one little crummy warm front on there. Leading edges of air masses. You know, you they, they all connect up to the uh, low pr high. They all connect up to the low pressure area. I call it the mix master. The mix master. Because it's got all the what is, different air masses with it. Yes. How do they circulate? What do you mean by that? Counterclockwise. Good. What do you mean? How do I mean? In the low. So your questions. Stop it. In the northern hemisphere, they go counterclockwise. All right. This way. That means against the hands of the clock, folks. Counterclockwise. Yeah, thank you. Wait, this way. You can't do it that way because it's backwards. <laughs> That's what I'm I doing. learned See? that on the first show. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. So we've gotten through your tiresome questions. I can't wait questions. for your <laughs> What? Go ahead. All right. It's not time yet. This is, the, this is the time of the show that everybody looks forward to. It's the time that we get to answer questions that are sent by our viewers, which, by the way, is... 
easy to do. Send your emails to weathered at westfordcat.org. Correct. Thank you. And I'm not going to say cat. I'll say hyena. Fine. It's even better. Westford, not hyena. As most of the students org. would say more better. They wouldn't say that. Yes, they would. No, they wouldn't. <laughs> yes, they would. This is America, buddy. All right. So, you pronounce summer. Summer. S-U-M-M-A-H. Summer. 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 Yeah. Summer. Okay. I'm kind of looking at you. <laughs> All right. All right, so the first question we have is from Mr. Ed Garland from Maine. Excuse me, it's Ed Hummel from Garland, Maine. What? Give me this. <laughs> what? Well, you wrote Ed Garland. You're supposed to be a comma here. Hey, I copy paste these right out of the emails. You wear pasties? What's Somebody going on? else. No, well, I... Are you going to just pick on me today? No, yes, actually. It's Ed. Ed. Can I get to the question? Yes, it's Ed from Garland, Maine. It's Ed Hummel. He has his own weather service. Right. I always so like to give tips in there. Ed Hummel from Garland, Maine. Thank you. All right. Not from Hummel, Maine. You're going to be humble in a moment. How big and how strong can extra tropical cyclones get? About three, three and a half three beams, Three and a half feet. Yeah, they're yeah. very big. They can, they, uh, so, uh, if you go up to um, Newf uh, Newfoundland, they, Greenland, they have the Greenland low that basically sits there in the wintertime off the Aleutian Islands. There's another gigantic one. The, the main feature is really a big... Really a big swirl. Okay. Are they right. larger than, say, the tropical ones? Or does it matter? Yes. They are. Yes, they are. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have a question from a returning... Uh, we have a returning A person? visiting... Uh, visiting what? Re a returning sub submitter. Sub sub I don't know. Thank you. All right. This is from uh, Joe Moran. It's... It's Moran. He's Irish. Got it? If anybody's a moron here, <laughs> go ahead. Are you calling me a moron? I'm not calling you a moron. All right. Fine. Let me you ask the question. You can't your last name, Bo. <laughs> Robichaux. Go ahead. It's not even Robichaux. I don't, but go it's ahead. It's Rushlow. Rush you don't even know my name. You slur it. Do I need to? Can I get through I, this question? Call you Lou. All right. Go ahead, bud. <sighs> Are you breathing deeply? A winter cyclone. Yes. That intensifies over the Atlantic Ocean yes. east of Cape Hatteras, yes. North North Carolina. Got it right here, yeah. And then tracks northward toward New England is called a... Nor'easter. Thank you. What is the basis for that name? Because it, it, the wind's it's going off the coast, right? So the winds come in from the northeast at the surface. That's why it's called a nor'easter. And, and if it goes inland to the west of it, it's called a sou'easter. Don't look at me. I don't know where they got that. Because the winds go to the southeast then. And then it wanes. Or snow changes to wane. So it wanes doing a sou'easter. That's correct. And a Noita. No, well. No, it snows no, during no, a Noita. No, 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 it could rain. It could wane if there's no coal there around. Or it retweets. Retweets. <sighs> okay. You know, nobody's going to understand this. It's your fault. Go ahead. Fine. Stop breathing deeply. Go ahead. All right, this one is from Joe Lee Moran. Warner. Lee Warner? And <laughs> How about Lee Lavdis in Warner, Georgia? What is with you today? You know, uh, <laughs> I don't know. You're the ones making the mistakes. How are you going to say Manitoba? <clears throat> You're just going to keep picking on me, aren't you? <laughs> it's a lot to pick. <laughs> I, don't, don't start with me. One more time. Thank you, Pooh. One more time. What? I just dropped it. Just Go put ahead. that anywhere. I'll put it somewhere. Go ahead. Somewhere. All right. Go ahead. You've got a lot of time yet. Hey, Ed. Yes? How intense can these storms get? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked that question, because if I can find it, oh. Lowest sea level pressure recorded in a non-tropical parentheses extra tropical cyclone or storm at the United St at any United States certified. I was going to say circumcised, but we're on the air. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I get the moil down here to take it up. <laughs> was it? come on! I can't, I can't keep doing this. I can't do this. <laughs> I, I didn't know. finish it. Don't I, I, no, it's early. Don't I'm, get, I'm, don't you're, get, finished. No, no, no. you're finished. I'm, I'm done. Not, I am I'm done. Not, oh, I am. I am out of here. All right, you wimp. All right, give me Christy B. Jeez. <laughs> we don't have Christy B. Well, who are you? Josh? We don't have Christy B. I'm Josh. How are it's, you, Ed? I don't know. I'll let you know. <laughs> it's, hold it. Not yet. I'll do this. Let me answer this. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me. What did your hands sweat? Well, you got you got tobacco grease in there. <laughs> tobacco grease. All right. He doesn't smoke. Thing. He smokes when he sleeps. <laughs> I can't see what this. Oh, the, uh, a certified observing station with 892. Like people know this, 29.34 inches of mercury recorded at the 
What the heck? Matacumbi? Can you read that? I think you're making Matacumbo. up words. I don't know what that says. Matacumbo. <laughs> Close I don't, for a me. key in Florida on September 2nd, 1935. Oh, I'm reading the wrong one. Recorded at Dutch Harbor, Alaska. Sorry, I slipped. <laughs> 27.35 inches at Dutch Harbor, Alaska on October 25th, 1977. Therefore, the reading at Big Fork on October, uh, we don't care about that. So it's up in Alaska. Go figure, that's what Illusion Low says. And thank you. Now you're going to take over, your name is Josh Stanley, is that's that right? That's correct. Now Josh. That's correct. You want to answer questions, right? I would love to. Would you like to turn that upside so you can read it? That might thank help. You, it might that help. would probably help. All right. You're not getting paid much for this. I. <laughs> You're Tell sharing me. my salary. Go ahead. Yeah, do that saltine they gave you. Saltine? That's that's your payment. Was it? That's what they told me. Okay. What question are we on here? I have no idea. Pick one. All right. Well, well let me see. Ed, I got this. Yes, Thank you. Josh. You want to is... live to be 22? <laughs> I'm 23. You want to live to be there. 24? Go ahead. <laughs> What is the difference between an extratropical, a subtropical, uh, and a tropical low-pressure system? I thought we covered that already. Well, well, that's from Denison, Illinois. Oh, Denison, Illinois. That's yeah. different. It's, uh, it's cold in the middle, and, and tropical systems are uh, warm in the middle if you, as you go above them. And they don't have any fronts with them, the tropical. Why am I yelling? They don't have any. You bring it out in me. They don't have any uh, fronts in the middle. Uh, on them. The, the, the extratropicals have fronts. Cold front, warm front, occlusion. Do they? <laughs> Go ahead. That's a malocclusion. All right. Well, uh... Will you pick it up, please? Go yeah, ahead. I would like to know which low-pressure system has fronts associated with it. I and just did that. No, you didn't. Extra you did the one... tropical. Oh, my God. Why are we writing questions five different Be times because on the same Because somebody thing? else who just stormed out did that. That was four and five. That... Great. No wonder he left. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Quiet in the control room. Dennis from <laughs> Illinois. He's yes. got a lot of questions. and uh, Just he, read them. He wants to know if you could name some weather phenomena that can be found with extratropical lows. Don't say phenomena. Dun, 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 dun. You know what's going to pop up? The Muppets. Phenomena. 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 They always do. They yeah, always do. Yeah, what's the question again? I, I want you to name some weather phenomena. Go mm. ahead with your thing. Phenomena. Um, that can be tank? found with extratropical lows. How about the blizzards? That's one. Snowstorms? Thunderstorms? Out ahead of a warm front or cold front, usually? Sure. Uh, uh, an Arctic air mass behind it, sure. maybe in front of it. Right. right. What do you know? You took the <laughs> class and don't remember anything. I had you as a I'm teacher. I'm responsible for you passing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet in the control room again. That's we true. Cut it out. All right. You smoked most of the time. I, that's the neither other rest here of the time nor there you, or the true. That's sleeping. not true. Kids you know, don't smoke. Well, you're not a kid, pal. I wasn't talking to myself. Said, he's terrible. All right. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. Another they question They bring cold for front, you. warm front occlusion. Okay, go ahead. All right. Well, uh, what do the following three types of extratropical winter cyclones have in common? Where are you the uh, Alberta Flyer, Saskatchewan <laughs> Screamer, and Manitoba Mauler. Are those no, real I think things? that's a hockey team. Yes, that's, they are. You're going to get out of here. So. <laughs> Joe Moran asked that. Uh, thank you. You pronounced it right. Yeah, they're all the same thing. It's called the Alberta Clipper. Now, here we go. While the name Alberta Clipper, I thought it was the guy in the Atlanta Braves. Clipper. <laughs> Clipper Jones. That's Chipper. Oh, sorry. It's most common. The exact origin of low pressure in Western Canada, folks. Western. Can, can give it, stop that. Can give it different <laughs> names with the meteorolog within the meteorology community. You don't want to go there. This shows our geeky sense of... Oh, that's just what it says. You based wrote on it. A pro I didn't. I'm reading it. Pro based on a province in Canada where the storm forms, such as the Saskatchewan Squeamer and the Manitoba Mola. What the stupid... Is Christy B around yet? Good on, man. Oh, Christy. Hey. Hey, hey, hey it's me, been Ed. a pleasure. It's been great. Never come, don't lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, some sanity. You want to sing? No. Hi, how are you? Hello. Oh, how are wow. you doing, Just bud? Fine. What? I said, how are you doing? Oh, bud. I bud. thought you said bud. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm. All right, you want to read a few Is questions? This, oh. We missed you. Boy, did we miss you. Yeah, I missed you, too. <laughs> you, really? Oh. I'm shaking your head and read something. <laughs> All right, um, so here's a question. You look marvelous. Thank you. you Thank really you. I, I got dolled up for the occasion. <laughs> uh, so here's another question from Joe Moran. You got that right. Only the yeah, other guy Joe Moran. Read it right. yeah, Moran. So he said, 
Can I? Do you want me to go? Uh, yes. Yeah, please. But don't leave. Um, an intensifying extratropical cyclone yeah. typically develops a warm side and a cold side. Yes. Typically. Like people. Yeah, very true. Considering the storm track, what is the significance of this temperature contrast in terms where the precipitation is most likely to fall as snow rather, rather than rather, wane? Rather than wane? Rather than wane. We're going to get, if anybody ever watches this, we're going to get calls. <laughs> we're probably going to get <laughs> calls. Joking. All right. On the east side, since the winds come up from a southerly direction, there'll be wane. Wane? On the west side, it'll be snow. West side wane? Yeah. East side rain. East side rain. You definitely yeah, yeah. said west. And west, did I? I'm sorry. West side is snow. Well, your beauty is, you know. Mm -hmm. West side is snow. West side would be snow because the north is kind of colder air coming. Of course, if you're in the Arctic, I don't see where the rain's coming from anyway. <laughs> I don't you know? either. All right, very good. So that's that. It certainly East is. East side rain. Inside rain? East, East side, all side around the rain. town, yeah. Oh my God, Joe Moran is full of questions. They always full of Go ahead. So he said, uh, so the Great Lakes Sorry, region. Sorry, Joe, I didn't mean that. No, it's fine. We, we love the questions. Keep them coming. Weather, weather Don't ed, start singing. Weather ed okay. at westwardcat.org. Yeah. Okay. Send them in. So for people who are residing in the Great Lakes region, what is meant by lake effect snow? And does coastal New England ever experience ocean effect snow? This is a question from Joe still. Of course. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lake effect snow is when cold... Cold air moves over the warm, uh, relatively warm, you know, relatively open Great Lakes, and it, it gets the. Watch this. Get, you want to come back here, Josh, and explain this? I don't think so. It, the air gets destabilized over the lake because it's warm below, and it destabilizes the air, and it picks up moisture. Right. And uh, thank you. And on the American side, here's a technical. It dumps it. Okay, dump. We get similar things in the, the Finger Lakes region of New York, am I but right? Not as, uh, but it would not the Finger Lakes don't do it. It's Finger coming from Ontario, Ontario, probably. Yeah, thank you. Canada. Ki can Canada, Canada gets nothing. Ontario, Canada. Uh, they get nothing. Nothing. Because they're not on the a, other side. Not a flake. Well, there are some. Yeah. And then, uh, coastal New England can get this ocean effect snow and the cold, the really cold air goes out over the, uh, the Gulf of Maine <laughs> <laughs> and bring, comes in over the land and it gets some snow. But it's nothing compared to... Uh, the Great Lakes, so all the people around here go, oh, wow, look at that. Okay. <laughs> is there a melody it. to that? That certainly is. Are you it's taking called, over my job? I'm no, nobody could take over here. Oh, thanks, baby. Nobody could look that marvelous. Yeah. So uh, here's a question from Charlotte Zuda. She wants, she says, uh, Why are Al you laughing at her last name? Elmo, I'm not laughing at Elmo's anything. Elmo's a dog. Yeah, I figured because uh, she said that Elmo said he would like to be on your show and he wants <laughs> to know why. He wants to know why it's called the dog days of summer. Okay. It's because the Egyptians. No, we're all front. No, we're not. <laughs> because the Egyptians way back when in the desert, you know, there's nothing much to do. They looked up in the sky and there was the dog star. The dog star? Cyrus or Sirius. Sirius. Sirius, right. I'm very serious here. Uh, as and am they, I. was very bright. What? I, I, as am I. Thank I am you. also. It's very bright. I'll talk to nobody. Nothing's on. It's very, very. <laughs> And it was very bright in the summer, so these morons in the U.S. are, hey, it must be the dog days of summer, meaning it's hot and humid, right? Wrong. Not even, there you got not it. even remotely Supposed close, kids. You were educated. I'm not used to working with an educated person. Intelligence, <laughs> right? Yeah. Hey, can my dog come on instead? You have a dog? Yeah. Sure, I'll bring the dog in. He's very cute. Can I bark? <laughs> yeah. What's the name of the book? dog? My dog's name is Fenway because I'm from Boston. My name is Park. We have a comedian on our hands. All right, let's go. Last one. Put that cigarette uh, this is, out. This is nice there. and casual. Um, sup with all the flood warnings lately. Mark. Well, never mind the flood. Mark put that in? What about the tornado warnings yesterday? I know. That was kind of intense. My phone kept on buzzing. <laughs> and, it, and it came uh, during class, too. It was very exciting. Were you in class when Jazz, happened? I was. I was not in a class. A live map. Oh, no. And, uh, but, yes. There was some bright reds on radar. No purples. Or magenta, they say on TV. If it's that color, you're guaranteed a tornado. What they did is they picked up uh, counter. Watch this counterclockwise or clockwise high rotation in the cloud in the thunderstorm. That's a sign of. Uh oh. <laughs> Watch so you, out. You, you, even if you don't see anything, you put out the warning. Yeah. And if the local officer puts it out. There was even a reverse nine, a couple of reverse nine one ones that went out for that. Did they? Yeah, I got two calls. But it was two warnings. Yeah, I got one for each. 
I did too. Good. We, we lived not too far apart, that's so I'd hope that we both got it. That's what happened, yeah. I don't know. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And uh, it was on the home phone too, you know. Yeah. 1-800-ED. <laughs> Uh, and uh, uh, and then on radar, you see a hook on the bottom of an echo or somewhere on the echo. That's mm -hmm. another sign of a possible tornado. Yeah. So you zip out the warning. You don't care. Well, I mean, better safe than sorry. That right? is correct. They'd be sued anyway. All right. They probably they probably get sued. It's a good thing they didn't though. That it didn't happen. Well, no. Th well, yes. It's a good thing it didn't I know. happen in Connecticut. It did. Did that was near yeah. Windsor Locks, which is near what Hartford or something like that. I'm not too familiar. I think with it's near the... Hartford. But they, they had some damage. They showed some yes, on the news. Yes, they did. They showed a little sports stadium, kind of. It was a, it was a dome. Yeah, it was a dome. Which one. wasn't a dome anymore. <laughs> no, not anymore. It was only, it was only a half a, it was a block wide. Or two I'm, I'm, not, I'm very not familiar wide. about the, uh, the exact dimensions of this sports dome in <laughs> Thank you. East Windsor, Connecticut. Thank you. Holy <laughs> Holy <laughs> Holy You had a question? I am. Do you want me to make some up off the top of my head? No, we, we got, uh, hey, uh, Baldy. Come back here. What, what do we got? What do we got? Get a, are you on? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm on. on. Go, admit it, was Mark. It? Hey, it's Mark. Hey. We missed you. You're not in the shot. Where no did they go? I'm no in the shot now. See, look at that. <laughs> See, boy. <laughs> How are you doing, Mark? Good. Sorry uh, about No, Mark, admit it. What, what, were you really, ex well, you were, but I mean. I was furious. No, but I got over it. Good. Stop it. Good. All right, so this is, yeah, this is just a staged act to is bring it? I was getting a Christy here. on it's as the new co-host. And if this doesn't bring the ratings I up. I almost said sucker. <laughs> the new sucker. Yeah, I, I came on to sing a song once. Now they wanted somebody with hair. See, see, what, what, <laughs> see what happens when you get involved? The ratings went up. We bring you in. And, uh, yes. I think it probably was the hair. It's okay, right? Look at this. Right. All right, so and, and Joe, I do know how to pronounce your name. It's Morin, right? <laughs> <laughs> Moran. We didn't get anything from Russia this time. No, no didn't. Putin didn't write in. Well, he's busy with the what's his name, Snowden. Snowden and Robert Kraft. Oh, get over it, Kraft. Buy a ring. All right, we got three minutes left. So we uh, got three minutes. Who, yeah, because we ran out of questions. Oh, we did that was. So what see what wondering? happens when I leave the seat. She looks much better than you, so what's uh, the difference? Yeah, that's oh, true. That's true. So, true. Uh, hey, Josh, come here. Don't trip over the wires. We don't have insurance. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to give up my, my little position here. You, can you get up? Is I that, wouldn't. I think I, I Is that my spot now? He is. That's your to, spot I get now. To heel next to you. Let's give him a hand. You didn't tell everybody what you're Already? doing. We're what am I doing? Right right around here. I am leaving. But don't, you don't want to tell them where you're going? Well, you brought Josh in. Doesn't matter. He can wait. I can wait. <laughs> right. So we're all kind of crowded in here. Let's all get in real nice, like. I'd rather have this is like a family next photo. To me. Cool. Get away from me. It's the most dysfunctional family yes. photo I've ever seen. The bad news is I will be leaving, but I'm going to be hanging on as editor, so you will see me. You will uh, see the remnants of me. Yep. Um, in the editing, so don't pick on me. I can. <laughs> mm. Gee, I don't, I don't what could I possibly do in editing that would get you back? You blew me up last time. I could blow you up again. Blew him up? Yeah, you blew me up. Watch oh, this, boy. I'm going to blow him up again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're not telling anybody, you don't want to tell anybody what you're doing? What am I doing? Where are you oh, going, Mark? Yeah, Mark? Actually, I am going to be starting a new job. I thought you were going to pitch for the Mets. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you didn't let me finish. I'm oh. going to be pitching for the Mets. <laughs> no, actually, I'm going to be teaching technology and engineering at Groton Dunstable Regional High School. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, boy, does he have a surprise coming? <laughs> well, do you have teaching experience? Yeah. Yeah, there's a room. Uh, <laughs> very little. Uh, is he a good How teacher? How would you know? Guys? You never stayed in the room. I didn't need to to know that I wasn't missing anything. I. All right. That whole. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just got colder in here, ladies and gentlemen. And get I think Josh jacket. should keep coming back. <laughs> I right, Josh. So, uh, so you, what you, you, you graduated. You gra You were able to graduate from Schmecker College because Becker I. Schmecker College. Schmecker. Because of you. That's Correct. Because of you. Correct. Yes. I got my degree in marketing and management thanks to your meteorology. That class. is correct because you forgot to <laughs> take two important. science classes there. I did. Although we did. never knew when you were going to be there, and when you were, you went out to smoke again. That's neither here nor there, or should be kept being brought up here. But Why not? You were hacking before. 
But he's, he's fine now. He's yeah, that's true. He's he's Thank you very he's much. He's shaking. Thank you very much. No. Ed is also a smoker. He's actually 35 years old. No. Well, let's be honest. <laughs> he's been smoking since he was 10, so. No, I'm nine and a half in dog years. That's not a lie. <laughs> nine and a half in dog years. Right. Hi, how you doing? I'm fine. I'm just off Mark's the wings. still here if anyone was no, wondering who he's talking to. All right, so to. What, what are you going to do with your life? Oh, I want to help old man, people. I'm, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm already You're helping, already helping old, people. old people. What do you want to do? I'm hoping to hijack a weather show and make hey, it my own. Hey, well done. That would be... But you're going to have to call me for the goal. technical stuff. You know what you have to do? You have to sing the song. I have to say, I don't... you got to wear a dress, too. With, uh, do you have I? to shave your legs. This is... I think you and Christy, actually, I think the three of you should sing the song for the end credits. I don't know I the don't song. I don't think so, because you can't it's hear me singing. It's not hard at all. So what, what do you think? What, yeah, do you what, think? Else, what do you really want to do with your life? I want to make a lot of money doing something. Well, forget something. it. Burger King. I mean, that's, that's a start. That's, yep. That's, uh, that's a good All right, well, I, uh, I'm sorry that they nailed you. <laughs> not as Why sorry as you are. <laughs> all right, that's, and what's your name again, Josh? It's Josh. What's the matter? Afraid they might know it's Stanley? It's, that would be my last name, Stanley. I mean, your girlfriend's on the line. <laughs> she and Patrick through. They said, what a dud. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for showing up. But thank two, you. You come back on the 27th, you hear? 27th yeah, now? Seven I thought oh, it was 30th. 7 o'clock. I can't remember. Which, what do you want? Thir All right, folks, we're out of time for today. So thanks for Bummer. tuning in and watching Weathering the Weather with Ed. Tune in uh, in a couple weeks or so. Great. All right. The 30th or the 27th? 30th. Seven o'clock live. Thirty at seven o'clock live. We're gonna have an audience here. So be here if you happen to watch this. Or just email us. Weathering. And how about sending money in from my Parkinson's? Huh? Always a good cause. Always Sheepskates. A good cause. All right. Have a good afternoon, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, what? A... She's a natural. <laughs> she is a natural. She's better looking than you are. I'll tell you that one. Weathering the weather with Ed. Sometimes he's cranky, sometimes he's goofy, but he's always got a joke. Before I met him, I said meteorology, hey guy, that's not for me. But now I'm weathering the weather with Ed.